CIET NCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for class 1 Page number 72 Chapter 7 Lena's family Lena's family get together Lena stays with her family in a village She stays with her grandparents parents and a brother Shanbor her uncles aunts and cousins live near to their house here we have a picture lena is standing on the stool she likes to be tall find out and circle the tallest member in the family in this picture we have lena along with her parents grandparents and her brother shanbor who is differently abled page number 73 lena's family invited all the family members for a get together here on page number 73 there is a picture of lena's family Here in this picture you can observe total 10 members of the family. Let us talk. A How many members are there in Lena's family? B Take the tallest member in the family. C Draw a cap on the shortest family member. D Who is taller than Lena's mother? but shorter than lena's father e who is the tallest and shortest family member f who is the tallest child in your class g how many children in your classroom are taller than you page number 74 here on page number 74 there is a picture given This is the picture of a hilly area where Lena lives. Here in this picture you can observe a house, a road, a school bus, a shop, a school. And Lena is waiting for the school bus on the road. Lena lives in a hut-shaped house in hilly area. Can you locate her house in the picture? circle the correct options a her house is nearest to or farthest from the shop and nearest to or farthest from the school b the school is nearest to or farthest from the shop and nearest to or farthest from the red roof houses c The child is nearest to or farthest from the school bus and nearest to or farthest from the school. Amazing facts. This is a statue of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel also called Statue of Unity. It is the tallest statue in the world and is located in Gujarat, India. Page number 75. Let us do A tick right the one which is longest Here on page number 75 there are two different pictures given one on the left hand side in the picture there are three crayons given in the second picture there are three girls standing they all have braids B tick right for the one which is the shortest one We have three vegetables given here. Two. We have shirts in different sizes given here. C. Take right the one which is thickest. On page number seventy-five, there are two pictures given. In the first picture, there are three notebooks given. In the second picture, there is an eraser and two boxes. D. tick right for the one which is thinnest one three trees of different sizes are given here two 
Three candles of different sizes are given here. Page number 76. Think and do. Draw a stick or bamboo longer than this. Draw a rope shorter than this. Here on page number 76, there are two blank boxes given. In the first box, you have to draw a stick or a bamboo longer than the given one. And in the second box, you have to draw a rope shorter than the given one. Dadi is checking the length of Chitra's sweater by a hand span. Dadi says, It is ready. We can also use fingers for smaller objects. Chitra also wants to find out the length of the stick, table, pencil and notebook using her hand span. All these objects have been given as pictures here. Page number 77 Think and answer A. My table is dash hand spans long B. My bag is dash hand spans long C. My classroom blackboard is dash hand spans long D. My maths book is dash hand spans long. E. My arm is dash hand spans long. F. My friend's arm is dash hand spans long. Can Chitra use a hand span to find the length of all these things? Find out and circle which of these things around you are shorter than a hand span. Can we use fingers also to find the length of these things? The objects given here are Rope Cricket bat Hockey stick Pen Eraser Book Tree trunk and table Page number 78 Let us do What would you choose? hand span of fingers to find the length of these objects and why. Circle your option in the table. Try to guess before finding the length of these objects. Here on page number 78, there is a table given. This table is divided into four columns and six rows. In the first column, name of the things has been given. In the second column, circle what will you use is written. In the third column, my guess is written. And in the fourth column, my findings is written. In the first row, on the left hand side, name of the things has been given. Name of the things are Bottle, Spoon, Pencil, My Friend's Nose, Leg, Key. In the second column, hand span of fingers is written. What will you use? Third column of my guess is blank. And the fourth column of my findings is also blank. Page number 79. A table has been given here. The first column is measure by foot span. Second is my guess of foot span. Third column is my findings of foot span. Both the second and third columns are blank. Row 1. Distance between my seat to the door of the classroom. Row 2. One side of classroom wall. Row 3. Distance between your bed and washroom. Row 4. Distance between two walls of your room. You have to fill in the blanks. Let us do. A. Take right the heavier object. Here on page number 79, there are two different set of pictures given. In the first picture, there is a bucket and a mug given. Tick the heavier object. In the second picture, 
a watermelon and an orange has been given. Tick the heavier one. B. Tick the lighter object. 1. A pack of salt or a bag of rice. 2. A backpack or a water bottle. Tick whichever one is the lighter of the pairs. Page number 80. C. Color the heavier object. Here on page number 80, there are two different sets of pictures given. In the first picture, there are two baskets given. One basket is empty and in the other one, a cat is sleeping. In the second picture, there is a bucket filled with water and the other one is empty. In the third picture, a glass and a water bottle is given. In the fourth picture, a blanket and a bed sheet is given. D. Color the lighter object. The first pair is coconut and lemon. Second pair is a cup and a glass. The third pair is cricket ball and basketball. The fourth pair is a basket full of vegetables and an empty basket. Let us talk. A. Who is heavier between you and your friend? How will you find out? Discuss in the class. B. Find out your weight. Can you think where your weight is usually checked? Page number 81. Let us do. A. Fill the bucket with water. 1. Blank jugs of water will fill the bucket. 2. Blank glasses of water will fill the bucket. 3. Blank bowls of water will fill the bucket. B. Answer the following questions. 1. How many cups of water will fill your water bottle? Dash. 2. Now fill your friend's water bottle with the same cup. How many cups of water will fill your friend's bottle? Blank. 3. Which bottle holds more water? Blank. 4. Try it with another bottle. Which bottle holds less water? C. Circle the one which holds more water. The first pair is bucket and mug. Second pair is a cup and a glass. Third pair is two earthen pots of different sizes. Fourth pair is a mug and a water bottle. Fifth pair is a teapot and a water bottle. Page number 82. D. Water is very useful for us. Take right the amount of water you need for given activities. 1. For brushing the teeth, a bucket full of water or a mug full of water. 2. For bathing, a bucket full of water or a tank. 3. For preparing two glasses of lemon water, a jug of water or a bucket of water. 4. For watering a plant, a mug of water or a bucket of water. Page number 83. Project Work A. Discuss why is it important to take water in a bucket for bathing instead of shower or running tap water. B. Tear and paste colourful paper strips to make one portion of the strip short and another longer. The strips should be of different sizes. Here, on the left side, you will paste shorter strips. On the right side, you will paste longer strips. The strips on left side are shorter. The strips on right side are longer. C. List things which are easier to carry and which are difficult to carry. Here on page number 83, 
on the left hand side there is a blank space given for the things easier to carry and on the right side there is also a blank space given for the difficult things to carry d get bottles bowls and glasses of different sizes now observe how many glasses or bowls of water can fill the bottle which of these can hold more water ask children how many glasses of water they drink in a day discuss and sensitize them about water getting wasted around them what they would do if water is left in the glass should it be thrown or given to the plants also discuss about other ways of saving water like closing the tap when not in use reusing water etc you were just listening to this audiobook joyful narrators akash ahuja and shalini singh technical coordinator batilang lingdo sound recordist vikas sangwan production assistants somya malik produced and directed by vimlesh choudhary presented by C I E T N C E R T New Delhi India